Hello YouTubers, this is Lats. I know I've been away for a while, uh, I haven't made a video in some time, uh, but I've got something new today for the MQ7 and the MQ8 skins. Uh, this is a, a way to automate your skin settings changes. So, for example, on uh, at Christmas time, on like on December 1st at midnight, if you wanted to automatically change over to your Christmas settings on the skins, uh, we can do that now. Uh, there's also a manual way through our favorites that I'm going to show you first. Uh, the user Shredder Guitar on the forum actually came to me about, uh, it's been probably over a month ago, he uh, approached me with an idea of, of uh, changing these skin settings automatically. And I thought it was a cool idea. And we've been working on it. I found a couple of scripts that I combined, and uh, he tweaked a couple more scripts to uh, automate some of the folder uh, creation. And we're going to get into it and show you how to set all this up. So the first thing I've got here is there'll be some zip files with scripts and a favorite file for each for Krypton, Leia, and Matrix for MQ7 and MQ8. And of course for Krypton we've only got MQ7. So the first thing you want to do, you want to open this uh, scripts zip file and you'll see there's a scripts folder in there. I've already got it copied over into my uh, Cody folder. This is the your home folder for Windows. It's user app data roaming Cody. And I'm just putting that folder inside that Cody folder scripts. You'll see inside there uh, I've got the name I just named it the same as the skin folder the Krypton mod and then inside that you'll see all of the holiday subfolders, a config folder and a standard folder. Each one of these has a uh, another script inside each one that automates this uh, changeover and there's also a little each holiday has a little animated uh, picture that will show in your favorites, uh, and we'll show you that in a second. So you copy, copy that scripts folder over, and then back to Cody and user data. And what you're going to do now is, if you have uh, favorites already existing, all you need to do is open up both of these. Open up this one that's in the zip and yours, and I've only got. Uh, the only thing I have is the, the MQ7 uh, favorites, but you, if you open up this, you can copy all of these favorites into your favorites, and then close Cody, reopen it, and you'll see all of these uh, favorites listed. So I've already got that copied, so let's get into it, and I'll show you how you set this up. So we're going to go to our favorites. First thing you're going to do is uh, click on this create settings directory structure and what that does if you go into add-on data and then the skin folder you see right now all you have is the settings.xml for that skin that keeps all of your skin settings how you have it set up so if we run this favorite uh, it alerts you of the dialog up top that the skin settings folders have been created so if you go back to that now you see all of the subfolders have been created so the next thing you want to do uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, create the uh, the settings file for your standard settings how you normally just have it without any holiday holiday setup so you get all of your settings uh, everything the way you want it and then you open favorites again and you're going to click on this create standard settings and again you get a dialog saying the standard skin settings have saved so now if you look in the standard folder you've got a settings.xml so you do that for each holiday set it up exactly how you want it and then run the favorite that creates that settings file and it will copy that settings.xml into each holiday so just for example we'll uh, we'll make a Christmas one real quick and we'll just turn on the Christmas visual effects so you see that up top now we got the Christmas 
stuff going. We'll go back to favorites and we will create the Christmas settings. And you see over on the right the uh, the animated picture that I said is is tied to each one here. I'll show you a few examples. So we're going to do that now, create Christmas settings. It tells you that it's been saved. And then if you go in the Christmas folder, now you've got a settings.xml for Christmas. So if you want to switch back, now that we have a standard skin settings uh, file created, you can run this favorite. And what that's what this is going to do, it's going to, in the background, it will switch to the default estuary skin. And you'll see it for a second while it copies that settings.xml from the standard folder and overwrites the existing settings.xml. Then it's going to switch back automatically to MQ7 and alert you that your skin settings have been updated. So we'll run this and I'll show you what it looks like. So there's estuary and now it's switched back and it's telling you standard skin settings are loaded and you see now the Christmas uh, visual effects are gone. So we'll go back to favorites and we will run the Christmas settings and we'll, it'll revert back to your Christmas. Now you see up top you have your Christmas. So you can do this with each one. Set it up how you want it. Run through these. Create all of your skin settings. And then you can uh, switch back to standard or, or whichever one you want. There is also a way to uh, automate this process. I, I found an add-on. It's called Cron XBMC on the Cody forum. This will run uh, scripts automatically uh, via Cron and you can tell it which date, time, you can do it uh, minute, hour, day, month, or day of week. I'll show you how to, once we get into that, I'll show you how to set it all up. I'll put links uh, down in the uh, description of this video on where you can download. I've, uh, there's a Krypton slash Leia version and also a Matrix version, two different versions uh, for those. And there was a, initially when I installed them and tried them, there was a problem setting uh, that month, any month besides January, it, it was uh, throwing up an error. So I contacted the uh, the creator of this on the Cody forum, uh, Rob Weber. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and he fixed it for both Krypton and Matrix. Uh, this works now. Uh, you can set this whatever for any month you want. So I, I tested the one for December and it, it set and showed it's going to work. It's going to run that Christmas script on December 1st at midnight. And I've already got it installed on here. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So we're going to go to program add-ons. You see here cron. So we're going to add a job. I'll show you how to add a job to uh, switch over to your Christmas settings December 1st at midnight. So we're going to add a job and we'll just call it MQ7 Christmas settings. All right, now your your Cody command, what you're going to put in here, if you look on the favorites, this Christmas skin settings, you see here at the end, this run script command, this is what you're what it's running. It's running this .py file, this script. When you click on that favorite, that's what it's running. So we're going to, you want to copy that whole command and then go back to Cody and paste that into the Cody command. And then next, this is your, uh, the cron expression. This is where you set it. So it's going from left to right, these numbers is minute, hour, uh, day, month, and then the last one is uh, the day of week. So uh, zero or seven can be used for Sunday, Monday is one, so on and so on up to Saturday, which is six. So if you wanted it to run the day of the week, that's that, that last asterisk there is where you would put that. So I want this to run at midnight on December 1st. 
So we're going to back this out to that asterisk here. So that's the day. We're going to space. The month is going to be 12. And then I don't want it. We're not going to mess with the day of week. So I'm going to put that asterisk back. So zero minute, zero hour, day one, month 12. Say OK. And then it asks, do you want to show a notification when the task runs? I'm going to say yes, just to let me know just to show you what it all looks like. So now you see uh, the MQ7 Christmas settings. It, the next run it says is uh, December 1st this year at midnight. And I may change, see if I can change this to uh, auto scroll because it's not scrolling showing you the time. But if you if you click on that job you can see each one of the uh, the fields that you entered. So if you entered it wrong you can go into that that uh, particular job and say you typed you copied the wrong one you can click on the Cody command line and now you can back that out if you put it in wrong or change it to whatever you want to say done if you wanted to if you entered the time wrong you can click on your cron expression and change that so now you can add another job for all of the holidays and then a standard one as well uh, to switch and you may have you may want to run the standard one at different times say uh, you know you've got uh, Independence Day and then August 1st you want it to change back to standard then you want to go uh, the next holiday would be Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas but if you wanted to switch in between those you'd, you'd, uh, you'd have to create multiple uh, standard crons to switch back to standard but that's how you set all that up and it's it's the same for uh, uh, Leia and Matrix the way this uh, cron add-on works and like I said I'll have links for uh, both versions in the description I'll also I'll add links I'll post all of these uh, zip files in all of the uh, skin threads for uh, for Krypton and Leia and Matrix and I'll show you I have let's go to my uh, Matrix version this I've got it installed as a portable version of Cody so if you look in there's in that script folder there's a MQ7 Matrix mod and MQ8 and they both have the uh, the subfolders so that's what it'll look like with uh, Leia as well. Go up into Leia. Your Leia scripts. I've got one for the MQ7 Leia mod and MQ8. So that's how you set all this up. Get it automated. Or you can just use your favorites. The favorites work just fine. Uh, but we were both, me and uh, Shredder Guitar, uh, we're both looking for a way to automate this and the cron xbmc add-on i think is going to do the job i want to thank uh rob weber for making those uh fixes i uh, really appreciate that this is going to work really well for uh, for all of these uh skins for mq7 and mq8 and this you can you can tweak these to uh, work with any skin if you want to change uh, skin settings for any other skin that you have you can uh, edit these scripts and uh, change them up. I'll show you. Uh, we'll just take a look at one real quick. So you can see here, this is the first line where it switches to back to the estuary skin. Uh, you want to create these subfolders in another skin. You can see where this is going to user data, add on data, and then the skin folder and that subfolder of Christmas. You can change this to. Uh, to be whatever skin you want if you want to automate this with other skins and it should work just fine so just wanted to show you this I uh, think everybody's gonna like this for uh, to kinda automate the way your skin behaves so you don't have to make all these changes you know with with MQ7 and MQ8 there's quite a few skin settings and themes just a lot of things you can you can uh, tweak on each holiday so I think this will uh, will uh, help everybody out a lot on changing those settings. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments, comment below. Appreciate it, and take care.